Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Independent Academy. Today we're going to start to look into the applications that are running on top of the Rootstock blockchain. Like we've seen in our previous video, you can imagine Bitcoin as being the operating system, the base layer. And then on, to on top of Bitcoin, you have several, you can think of it as app stores, right? You have Rootstock, which stands on top of Bitcoin. And on top of this app store, you have a lot of different decentralized applications, dApps. We're going to take a look at Money on Chain, which I believe it's one of the most important applications on Rootstock and possibly the main application behind the Bitcoin-based economy. All right, so in this video, we're going to do a quick overview and then we're going to go into each segment more in detail. The first thing you need to know about Money on Chain is that it has three different tokens, Bipro, Doc, and Mock. And everything is Bitcoin collateralized, like it says right here. We're going to mark this because it's very, very important. All right, so what we're going to look at first is we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to see this number, $76.8 million dollars. TVL expressed in USD. TVL means total value locked. Okay? So that means that this is the amount of money. Hold on, let's take it back. This is the amount of money that is inside the money on chain protocol right now. And this number will update in real time because all this information comes from the blockchain, which means it's 100% transparent and it can be accessed by anyone at any time. This is one of the beautiful things about the Bitcoin-backed economy, is that we can see how everything works. It's completely transparent, which is a stark contrast from the traditional system. All right, if we continue to scroll, we will get information on the three different tokens, like we said, Bipro, Doc, and Mock. So we're gonna go quickly into each one so you understand how they work, but like I said, we will go more in detail into each specific one in future videos. So we're going to go right up here where it says tokens. I'm going to start by DOC. I believe DOC is the most important one for you guys to understand first for us in Independent Academy. So DOC is a decentralized Bitcoin backed stablecoin. This means that it works just like Bitcoin, it's a token that we can hold in our own wallet and we can self-custody, which means we don't need a bank, we don't need an institution, we don't need to trust anyone. We can just hold it in our wallet. What makes it different than Bitcoin is that while the price of Bitcoin is volatile, meaning, meaning it can go up or it can go down, this is a stable coin. Stable comes from the fact that one doc is always equal to one dollar. So it's a, it's a way of gaining all the capabilities of Bitcoin, but without the volatility. So this means that we can hold dollar denominated assets without a bank, and we can send them cross borders with no middlemen. This is great. Personally, I try to hold most of my medium to short-term funds in DOC because I prefer DOC than a bank. And I can't afford to have 100% on Bitcoin because I don't want Bitcoin to go down suddenly right when I need to access my money. So here we go. Bitcoin without the volatility. This is the wonderful thing about DOC. And we will... Um, Again, we will do a specific video on DOC for you guys to understand how it actually, how we can keep this one-to-one -one peg with the US dollar. There's a lot of great information. If you guys want to check the, um, the Money on Chain website or in the Independent Academy, we have and we are building an entire library on DOC, how it works and all the use cases that you can use DOC for. All right, let's move quickly to the next 
token, the BPRO. And BPRO is a different kind of token. This is a token for people that believe Bitcoin is going to go up over the long term. That's why it says the smartest strategy for a Bitcoin holder. So we can see right now this 19. This means that BPRO has outperformed Bitcoin, but by almost 20%. Now this can can vary because BPRO basically is a slightly more volatile Bitcoin. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, but Bitcoin is already too volatile. Why do I want something that is more volatile than Bitcoin? And the answer to that is that if you believe Bitcoin is going to be worth more in, say, 5 to 10 years than it is today, well, BPRO, because it's more volatile, is going to be worth more than Bitcoin itself. And we will explain again in its own video how it accomplishes this. But basically, if you want to go long on Bitcoin and earn passive income while you're holding this BPRO token, then BPRO is the perfect token for you. Bibro is one of my favorite non-Bitcoin digital assets and as someone who likes having a passive cash flow in Satoshis, in Bitcoin itself, I find Bipro to be uh, just, just a wonderful token and one that we will explore more in the future videos. There's a lot of really interesting charts that we're going to look at, but basically for you to understand, Doc is if you're looking for vol for stability and BPRO are long-term investments with cash flow. And the last token we have is Mock. So Mock is the governance token of the money on chain platform. This means that if you acquire Mock tokens and you lock them into the platform, you gain governance. So that means that the money on chain protocol is run by the mock holders. Basically, any person can create proposals to make changes to the protocol, and then the mock holders, not mock, comes from money on chain, they can vote and veto. So they can say yes or no to any changes to the protocol. And when you do staking, you earn a percentage of the profits from the from the protocol. So it's almost like you are investing in the protocol itself okay and you also get discounts so there's some fees that you need to pay every time you mint or redeem tokens on the money on chain platform those fees can be paid either with bitcoin or with the mock token if you pay with the mock token you pay less fees so it has a nice little utility there and yes you can see more all the different um, things that, that you can do. Like we said, vote and veto. Then you got staking, fees and rewards. So you earn by owning the token and you get discounts when you pay for fees. So it has, it is a good token for people that wanna invest in the platform itself, all right? So basically we're gonna wrap up by saying in the tokens we have DOG, for those of us who are looking for stability. We have BPRO for those of us who want to invest in Bitcoin long term and generate a passive cash flow. And for the people that want to invest in the platform itself, in the money on chain protocol, and also get passive cash flow, then the mock token is for them. Again, we're going to go into each one of them specifically in future videos, but this will give you a nice overview of the money on chain platform. It helps many different people. And if you are like me, I have all three of these tokens. So it, it depends on the strategy that you're going for and what you are after at any particular time. Anyway, we'll look more, more into this in detail in the next videos. Remember to visit the Independent Academy if you're watching this on YouTube or any other social media to get access to all our guides and tutorials on how to use the Money Unchained platform effectively. All right, I'll see you in the next one.